Yo, I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. In this video, we're going to be going over a complete New World trophy guide. We're going to talk about what these trophies are, how you use them, why you need them, how to craft them, how to get the artifact ingredients to craft them, and more. So let's jump in here and let's take a look at what trophies are. So you can see here we're in our Brimstone Sands house. And you see some trophies placed on the wall. So trophies are essentially a piece of furniture that whenever you obtain it, you place it on the wall in your house, and it will give you a global buff depending on the type of trophy that you have on the wall. So you can place up to five of these in any home and they will stack up to three times so for example we own a home in Ebenscale Reach we have a home in Everfall and one in Brimstone Sands so we have five trophies up in each of these houses and we have one of each type in these houses so as you can see here we have a major corrupted trophy here in Ebenscale one in Everfall and then one in Brimstone we also have a major lost trophy in each of these places and so on so why this is important is because these effects stack so right here with this major corrupted combat trophy we get a a 5% bonus damage when fighting against the corrupted mob type. And again, this is a global bonus. So this applies to expeditions. This applies to invasions, open world, anywhere. This is a global bonus. And it's important to have three of these or three types of these because now we have not only 5% bonus damage, but we are getting 15% bonus damage to that mob type across the board globally. So that's how trophies work. That's why you want them. There are various types of trophies that you want to acquire as well. And we're going to take a look at all of those in this video. So there's 17 different types of trophies in new world that you're going to want to acquire each of these fall within a certain category of trophy there's crafting gathering luck combat and buff duration trophies in the game and they all have three different versions they all have a minor version a basic version and a major version and in order to get started crafting the minor version of the trophies you can come to a workshop you can go to the trophy section and you can begin to craft these these are very cheap you have to be at a workshop tier three or higher your furnishing has to be level 70 and then you have to have 25 lumber 20 steel one maple stain and 25 moats they are not all earth moats some of them require fire water soul but that's the gist of it 25 lumber 20 steel one maple stain and your moat of choice will get you started on your minor trophies they're very cheap to craft highly recommended you get these whenever you buy your first home you can also buy these for very cheap off of the trading post so if we run up to the trading post here and we type in minor ancient combat trophy you can see here that they're fairly cheap 259 gold most of the miners fall into this category so once you get your first home you can go on ahead and start buying some trophies uh, for fairly cheap or craft them whichever you prefer and then you can start your journey to getting these nice global buffs the next step up is called the basic version of these trophies the basic version gets a little bit trickier because now you need what's called an artifact ingredient so the basic trophies work much like the minor trophies only now you have this special ingredient you have to have you're only going to be able to see these trophies on the crafting table if you have the special artifact ingredient in your bag so for example when we take a look here at the minor versions you can see that there's a whole lot of them listed all except the loot luck trophy and we'll talk about that one here in just a moment and why it's not listed on here but you'll see 15 of them listed 15 minor versions you don't have to have anything special and you see there's only two basics listed here that's because in my inventory right now i have the pristine wolf claw and i have one of these corrupted crests so the pristine wolf claw and the corrupted crest are both artifact items once you have these in your bag you'll be able to see them in the list here and then you can craft them to craft the basic trophies it is 150 furnishing and a workshop tier four and you need similar ingredients you can see these all follow a similar pattern you need 25 wood 20 of some ingot type and then one stain the basic follows the same pattern except now you need 25 weird wood 20 star metal ingots one oak stain the pristine wolf claw which is the artifact ingredient we'll talk about where to farm those here in just a moment and then you need a minor wildlife combat trophy if we were going to craft the wildlife trophy so it's important to note here that to craft the basics you need the minor version of the trophy first that applies to every single basic trophy you're going to craft so you have to have the minor version the artifact version and then all of the basic ingredients and then you can craft the next tier up which is the basic version and then we have the legendary version of the trophies as well after the basics these work much like the basic trophies you need an artifact ingredient ingredient for these i do not have the major artifact ingredient on hand to show you where it is in the crafting station but it's the same thing same thing as the basic once you have the legendary artifact ingredient you just walk up to one of these workshops you can type in trophy up here to filter and then you'll be able to see it pop up down here just like you do the basics the legendary versions sometimes are very hard to get we're going to talk about where to obtain those items here in just a minute but they also follow the same premise as these only they take 25 ironwood planks 20 orichalcum ingots they take one 
mahogany stain, the legendary artifact ingredient, and then the basic trophy to craft a legendary version of the trophy. Now we're going to talk about the different types of trophies within the different categories. So first, we're going to start with crafting. Within the crafting category, you're going to have arcana trophies, weapon smithing trophies, engineering, and armoring trophies. These are very important because these are needed to craft 595 to 600 gear score gear. What these trophies do, they grant you a five gear score bonus to the minimum gear score of the item when using crafting stations for that particular profession. So for example, we can look here at the major arcana crafting trophy. It will grant me five gear score bonus to the minimum gear score when crafting uh, arcana items. So whenever I'm try trying to craft something like a fire staff, for example, if I'm trying to craft that at 595 to 600, I'm going to have to have one of these major arcana trophies to do that. You can craft up to 600 without this, but your chance of rolling a legendary is greatly reduced because then you'd be rolling from like 590 gear score to 600. So this is what your crafting trophies are for. They bump up your minimum gear score so that you can have a better chance to roll legendary items. This is why you'd want to acquire all of the major crafting trophies before you start rolling a whole bunch of gear. So in order to acquire these trophies, you need to, of course, acquire the minor version, then the basic version, and then you can craft that into a major version. To get the basic arcana trophy, you're going to need an ancient text. And then the major arcana trophy is a philosopher's stone. For the weapon smithing, you're going to need quartermaster's notes. And then for the major weapon smithing, you're going to need forge master's notes. For basic engineering, you're going to need the engineer's technique. And then for the major engineering trophy, you're going to need the precision engineering tools. The basic armoring trophy requires an armorer's journal. And then the major armoring trophy requires precision armoring tools. So in order to get all of those items, you can find them out of supply stockpiles, ancient chests, grave offerings, and ancient offerings. And I have a couple of videos up. I have an Ebon Scale Luck Run video and a Reek Water Run on the channel. I'll make sure to link those in the description below. Those are both solo runs that you can run to try to get all of these trophy math. They are pretty rare, so it is hard to pull these out of the containers or out of the chests. So just be aware of that whenever you're going to loot these. This is not something that you're going to loot every time you go loot one of these chests. They are rare, especially the major versions. Then the last thing we have in the crafting category is the cooking trophy. So these just grant you a large chance to craft additional items when using crafting stations for your cooking profession. There isn't a piece of gear you're going to craft that's going to be needing an increase in minimum gear score whenever you're cooking. So these just grant you a large chance to craft additional items whenever you have this in your homes. The next category of trophy is going to be the gathering category. So in this category, we have fishing, we have harvesting, logging, skinning, and mining. Fishing trophy works a little bit different than the others. So we're going to take a look at that one first. This one is going to grant you plus 9,000 fishing luck when using a fishing pole in the wilderness. So this is going to allow you to fish up rarer fish or better fish whenever you have this trophy in your home. In order to get these trophies though, you first need to fish up a blue blooded barb. The minor version can be crafted just like we talked about before. It's very easy to obtain, but in order to get the basic version, you do have to have a blue blooded barb. These can be fished up from hot spots in reek water. Once you have the blue blooded barb, you can then salvage it and then you'll get a taxidermied blue blooded barb. You can then use that to craft a basic fishing trophy. And then the major fishing trophy works very much the same. You need to farm up a daemonaja. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, but you need to farm up one of those fish. And then once you have one of those fish, you can then salvage it. And then you get a taxidermied version of that fish. And then you can use that to craft your major fishing trophy. And of course you have to have the basic version to craft the major version. So that's how you get your fishing trophies. You can also go buy those fish off of the trading post if you want to. Sometimes they're rather expensive, but you do have that option if you wish to go do that. The next few trophies, harvesting, logging, skinning, and mining. All of these items can be found in the supply stockpiles, ancient chests, grave offerings, and ancient offerings, just as the crafting section we talked about before. So whenever you're going to do your loot luck runs, you have a chance to get any of these trophy maps. So for the basic harvesting trophy, you're going to need a journal of Eternum Flora. For the major, you're going to need a mercurial token. The basic logging trophy requires a lumberjacks token. The major version requires pure resin. The basic skinning trophy requires notes on Eternum Fauna. And then the major skinning requires a tracker's seal. The basic mining, you're going to need a surveyor's tool. And then for major mining, you're going to need adamantine dust. And again, you can get all of this stuff from supply stockpiles, ancient chests, grave offerings, ancient offerings, or you can, of course, go buy these off of the trading post as well. Sometimes they're very expensive, especially for the crafting ones we talked about before. So after you have acquired your gathering trophies, what exactly do these things do? Well, all of your gathering trophies are going to grant you luck, 
just like we looked at with the fishing trophy before anytime you're going out to gather it's a good idea to have these placed in your home because now you're going to get additional luck when using that particular gathering skill so for example for skinning we can see here that it grants plus 1500 skinning luck when using a skinning knife in the wilderness same thing goes for like the mining trophy for example 1500 mining luck when using a mining pick in the wilderness and then of course your logging luck works the same way so you get the picture you're going to get additional luck whenever you have these placed in your house what this is going to do is going to give you a better chance to get rare materials whenever you're farming for particular items so for example you could get tolvium or cinnabar whenever you're mining and so forth so now let's take a look at the luck category so the luck category is a little bit different whenever we're talking about luck here this is much different than your crafting luck that we just looked at this is global luck so this luck applies to you looting items and opening chests so whenever you have a major loot luck trophy it's going to grant you a large bonus to your luck when picking up loot and opening chests in order to craft your minor loot luck trophy this one is a little bit different this one does require an artifact ingredient which is a rabbit's foot you can gather the rabbit's foot from rabbits so you just need to go kill rabbits skin them you get a rabbit's foot and then you can craft your minor loot luck trophy and then you can of course turn that into a basic and then that into a major but your loot luck trophies are going to grant you a bonus to luck when picking up loot and opening chests and in order to craft the basic loot luck trophy you're going to need a stacked deck and then the major loot luck trophy is going to require loaded dice so both of those can be found in the chests much like the gathering and the crafting trophies now we're going to move on to combat trophies combat trophies are going to be very important to you whenever you're doing things like expeditions you're going to want to maximize your damage and placing trophies in your house is a good way to get an extra boost in damage the minor version of combat trophies is going to give you an additional three percent damage for each trophy placed. so if you have three of those placed in three homes you're going to get nine percent additional damage against a particular mob type then basic gives you four percent damage against that particular mob type and then of course your major is going to give you five so whenever you have all three of these placed you're going to get a nice 15 percent bonus damage to that mob type using Using the major trophy which is quite nice in order to obtain these combat trophies you're going to need to go grab the artifact ingredient and getting the artifact ingredient for these is a little bit different than the other ones you're not going to obtain these out of chests like you did for the vast majority of the other trophies instead you're going to have to go farm these from mobs or of course you can buy them off the trading post some of the major versions of these can be quite expensive though but they also can take quite a long time to farm out so for the basic lost trophy you're going to need ectoplasmic essence this can be farmed from lost mobs level 30 plus and all of the basic versions are fairly easy to obtain they're pretty common they're pretty cheap on the marketplace so getting up to basic trophies is not that big of a deal it really starts to get expensive and tough once you start reaching your major versions of your trophies so in order to farm the major lost trophy you're going to need the ephemeral seal so if we go over here to newworldmap.com i'll show you guys exactly where these items can be farmed from so the seal can be farmed from mordecai the mortician in northern ebon scale reach he can be found in the sky song crypt up here in the northern part of the zone so in order to get the basic corrupted trophy you need a corrupted crest the corrupted crest can be farmed from corrupted mobs level 36 plus fairly easy to obtain and again fairly cheap on the marketplace in order to get the major version you're going to need to come up here to shattered mountain and farm out the corrupted totem it can be farmed from the mob pit lord dehi right here in the pit in shattered mountain there's the corrupted totem there so in order to get the basic angry earth trophy you're going to need to get bark flesh and again it can be obtained from level 36 plus angry earth mobs and again pretty easy to obtain uh, and pretty cheap usually most of the time and this can be farmed from banes who's located in central eden grove here in Siniab, point of interest so banes is here a level 63 mob and there's glowing sap and in order to get the basic ancients trophy you're going to need to acquire an ancient femur and much like the other other trophies you just need to farm level 36 plus ancient mobs and you'll be able to find an ancient femur pretty easily or you can just go buy one off of the marketplace for fairly cheap the major version is we're going to require the ancient mandible the ancient mandible can be farmed from the surgeon in reek water he is sitting over here in skyview repost in eastern reek water and whenever you farm him he has an, a chance to drop the ancient mandible which can then be used to craft your major ancients trophy and then we have the wildlife trophy and in order to obtain the wildlife 
life trophy the basic version you just need to kill timber wolves and get a pristine wolf claw and then the major version can be obtained from grizzly bears or black bears you need a pristine bear claw for those those are fairly easy to obtain probably the easiest and the cheapest out of all the combat trophies and then we need to talk about these shards every time we pulled up one of the loot tables for one of these bosses i'm sure you've noticed by now that you see that they all drop shards so all of these bosses have a very high chance to drop what's called a shard which is these ancient mandible shard of course here for the surgeon so what the shard is is a almost a guaranteed drop from the boss whenever you kill it it's a very high drop rate and then you can use those to craft them into the legendary version of that item so for example you get you could get a hundred of the glowing sap shards and then you take those hundred and you craft them into the glowing sap legendary resource which is then needed to craft the major trophy and in order to do that you just need to come over here to the workshop you can scroll down to the trophy section and you can find the shards and the conversion into the actual item so they're at the very top of the trophy section here and as you can see we have one ancient mandible shard we need 100 to be able to craft an ancient mandible we have 18 corrupted shards we would need 100 to be able to craft the corrupted totem and so on so this is just a way to obtain these a little bit easier it's almost a guaranteed drop but if you wanted to get all three of your trophies using this method you would of course need to farm out 300 of each of these types of shards so you need to farm out 300 of the corrupted totem shards in order to craft three of the corrupted totems so that you could then use them to craft three of your corrupted major corrupted trophies so that's kind of how the shard system works it's almost just a guaranteed drop it's an easier way for you to obtain the trophies so we have one more trophy to go over and that's going to be the buff duration type of trophy there is only one of these in the game and it does not have a minor or basic version it only has a legendary version this trophy can only be obtained from the turkey terror event it was available during 2022's turkey terror event i would fully imagine they'll bring it back in 2023 so if you didn't get this then i would imagine you'll have a chance to get it in 2023 whenever they bring back the event but this trophy is just a drop you cannot craft it and it only works when you place it in your home just like the other trophies do and it grants you a plus 25 percent food buff duration time whenever you eat beneficial food and all of the other trophies can be obtained by the methods we listed before and they can of course be crafted once you have the proper ingredient but that'll do it for the complete trophy guide that is what trophies are how to get them where to farm them all of the information you are going to need in order to craft all of your trophies and obtain them in new world and how they work i hope this helps you guys if it did please make sure to like and subscribe i greatly appreciate it and of course we stream every monday through friday over twitch.tv slash bdlg it'd be amazing if you stop by there come hang out with us we have a lot of fun over there do all kinds of crazy stuff and uh just talk chat about life in general but thank you guys so much for hanging out i appreciate it we'll see you in the next one